What's up guys, Red Dragon here, and today we're back in World of Warships finally, taking a look at the German Tier 4 battleship, the Kaiser. Now, I have enjoyed this ship, it's very good. I, again, from the Nassau and the play I've done with the Tirpitz, I'm going to like German battleships. I think they're going to be really good going forward. They're a little bit more aggressive, I think, than the other, uh, the Japanese and the American battleships. Um, very interesting, very fun to play. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's take a look at what the Kaiser has to offer. Maybe. Hello? Nope. I don't want port. I want modules. There we go. I remember how to do this. So, as you can see, we have a fully uh, uh, fully modded uh, Kaiser. Uh, in fact, I've already bought the Koning, just waiting to transfer my commander over to it. Um, so yeah, fully modded Kaiser. So let's see what we got. Just basic. Starting with, let's just look at the armor. I love this feature. Um, so we have maximum 350 millimeters of armor, as you can see here. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, let's let's just start stripping layers of armor off. So you know your basic armor pattern here, not too surprising. Your superstructure and deck uh, is not that armored. You have the armored uh, command area, uh, the conning tower, right here, which I guess would be a vital part of. Well, it is a vital part of ship in real life, but I guess it's modeled in World of Warships as well. You have Decent armor, 80 millimeters, 110 millimeters on the turrets, uh, and you have decent bulge armor. You know, torpedo bulge, 25 millimeters, some thicker deck armor right through here. So let's get rid of the torpedo bulges. There we go. Look at that. 350 millimeters right at the waterline, underneath the torpedo bulge. That's incredibly helpful. Let's pull those off as well. You can see the casemates for the guns. The front and rear are the most heavily armored, and then you get the middle ones that are slightly less so. And then you have your citadel down there in the middle with only 35 millimeters of armor, but it is surrounded by that uh, by that extra decking, the auxiliary area. So you're pretty well armored from the side, uh, as long as you're going up against, you know, equal tiering of ships once you start getting into the bigger guns of the Japanese and American ships at the higher at the you know, tier 5 and tier 6 potentially you know you're going to get you're going to take damage but you know for what the what the ship is made to do with all its secondary guns getting in a little bit closer than usual it's not bad not bad at all take away the conning tower there so yeah not bad not a bad little ship as far as armor is concerned armor layout let's go away so you have 46,400 hit points and fully upgraded. Uh, right now I have the increased repair, speed, uh, reduced chance of fire, uh, all that good stuff uh, that you would normally put on a battleship. Uh, gonna do, as I get into the more points for the German battleships, I'm gonna buff the secondaries in the later commander skills because this thing, if we look at the main, the guns, we have our five turrets with two guns each, so 10 305 millimeter guns. You can get all 10 barrels pointing at a target at once if you're going broadside. These two center turrets will be able to point um, at a ship, but it's only for about, there's only about two degrees that that gun can point across the entire ship, and you'd have to go almost directly broadside with your target. It can be done. It's very rarely able to happen in combat situations. I've had it happen maybe once or twice where I can get all 10 guns pointing, but basically eight guns at a time pointing at an enemy target. Your secondary armaments, you've got eight dual, you got four dual 88 millimeters, so eight barrels total of 88 millimeter guns. These little Death Star turrets that we saw from the German cruisers. And we also have the 14 uh, 150 millimeter secondary guns along the side of the ship. These are pretty good. They have a four and a half kilometer range, 8.6 second reload time. These will go to work on anyone that gets close, especially those. I found it does really. They do really good against the Russian destroyers because the Russian destroyers have to close within four and a half kilometers to launch any torpedoes, and a lot of them get a little bit too, little bit too risky, and they start getting withered away by the secondaries. So definitely, definitely helpful. Your main battery firing range is 14.6 kilometers, so pretty good, right, pretty good, right in the middle, I believe, of all the other tier 4 battleships, so not bad, not bad. 
Um, what? I was going to check something else. Let's pull up the main battery guns here. Uh, reload time of 26 seconds, typical of a battleship. The turret turn time is 60 seconds, which is a pain, uh, especially if you have, you know, let's say we had a target on the starboard side and you had all four, the starboard turret, the front turret, and the two rear turrets all pointed one way. It is going to take a considerable amount of time to get all four guns pointed to the uh, port side if you needed to. But again, with this ship, it's man maneuverable enough that that's not as big of a deal as you would think. You can buff the rotation of the turrets if you would like. I chose, well, I can't because I don't have the third uh, upgrade. But, you know, I just stuck a main armaments modification one so that, you know, they don't become incapacitated. Uh, you could stick auxiliary armaments on or magazine I don't never stick the magazine on my battleship because I've never been magazined in a battleship um, you could do secondary armament modification that's just gonna increase survivability I'd rather have something that increases the firepower of those so I decided you know what my main batteries are my strength let's keep those safe with the modification anti-aircraft tier 4 is where you start getting into enemy aircraft carriers uh, showing up on the map so we have 20 millimeter uh, flat guns. We have 17 of these little single 20 millimeter flat guns that give you pretty good close air coverage. Uh, they have a two kilometer range, so they're kind of your final line of defense, but having 17 of them really, really helps. You've got twin 37 millimeter flat guns. These aren't too bad. You have t uh, five of the twins, so you have 10 uh, barrels pointing to the sky for 37 millimeter. And then of course your four dual 88s are multi-purpose uh, anti-air and anti-ship and they have a four kilometer range so four kilometers out you can start popping aircraft and it is a decent number of guns so if you can folk if you get the secondary buff on the Kaiser if you have a, enough commander points to do so uh, she could she, she can easily fend off a good number of enemy planes you are probably gonna have to evade some torpedoes if a torpedo bomber strike gets sent it your way but you know two is better than four and as far as the maneuverability, you've got 24.2 knots, so decent speed for a battleship, a pretty moderate turning radius of 600 meters, and a rudder shift time of 13 seconds. 13 seconds on a battleship, not the end of the world. Um, I've been able to swing the ship around pretty decently at high speed. Um, again, it's a battleship; it's not going to do, you know, do donuts, but it will, you know, it it'll it'll serve your needs very well. Uh, dete again, detectable by sea at 13.8 kilometers, which isn't bad. Uh, range by air 10.5. So again, you're a battleship. You're going to get spotted. This isn't anything new. Um, she does look good in the German camo, I must say. Um, that's beside the point. But the German camo does look very nice on the Kaiser. Um, so that's the Kaiser in numbers. I've enjoyed playing this ship. I'm actually going to sell it sh uh, after the next couple battles in it. I do want to move on to the Koning. Um, I still have the Nassau because I just love playing the Nassau. I think it's a great Tier 3 battleship. Maybe, I hesitate to say the best Tier 3 battleship. Debatable, I know, but we're going to stick with it. Uh, hopefully I'll move on to the Koning and find that it is just as good as the Kaiser. Look at this. That's where the Germans start getting into the traditional World War II style setup of uh, inline turrets, two front, two aft, and you got one in the middle there, so kind of the New York, Wyoming style of gun layout uh, that American battleship captains will know. So, that was the Kaiser. Well, no, this is the Koning. That is the Kaiser. And a side note, if you like the Kaiser, um, you may want to head over to the premium shop and pick up the Koning Albert, which is a tier 3 basically a tier 3 Kaiser class battleship the stats are slightly not you know it's basically a stock Kaiser some of the uh, advantages are a little bit dumbed down but you still have your uh, 41,000 hit points you still got 10 305 millimeter guns you've got 488 four single 88s you know your secondaries are not as great your anti-air is not anywhere near as great and your maneuverability is not as great. But it is a more powerful battleship than 
mm, equally powerful battleship, I'd say, to the Nassau. So if you like the play of the Kaiser, consider getting the King Albert, or the Koning Albert, as a Tier 3 premium battleship for the Germans. Anyway, enough about that. Let us show off what the Tier 4 Kaiser can do. Alright, here we are in the Kaiser. It is raining a lot. Okay. We're going to go for A, obviously, because it's right in front of us. And we got a good flotilla here. We've got a uh, two Congos, a Kirov, an Isokaze, a Konigsberg. Not bad for in the middle here. Looks like our Isokaze is pushing out front to spot. I think we're going to rotate our guns to the starboard and swing to port once enemies get in range. So, as you can see, the gun turrets are turning rather slowly, as we stated, but again, it's manageable. Well, these Congos are going to cut across. Let's go with them. Whoa. Team killing. It's a thing. He just did it. Woohoo. Hey, dude. I need you to not. Debatable if that was on purpose or not, but... Eh. Whatever. That was 3,000 damage that guy did. Or a little under. 2,500. Alright. Anyway. We're detected. Let's kill this phoenix, I think. Armor piercing is loaded. Good, good, good. Phoenix is not quite in range yet. All four of our gun turrets are pointed at him. Let's go right there. Ooh, those look actually pretty good. 4,000 damage, not bad. Could be better. Alright, so, oh, real quick, look at the center two turrets before I forget. You can, if you point right out here, you see how on the ship on the compass all five turrets or yeah five turrets are lit up so you can get all five turrets on a target but you do have to turn pretty much broadside on which it's not recommended all right there's an isakaze with not quite within torpedo range of us so we're good there's the phoenix again more shots out on him he's going to turn in and avoid some of those yeah, 1,600 damage that time. Uh, we're going torpedoes to... Torpedoes We're going to pass those torpedoes, I believe. They're either not going to reach torpedoes us or... Torpedoes off steuerbord! Thank you, German guy. I have national voices on, by the way, because, torpedoes you know... Torpedoes off steuerbord! Yes, thank you. Stop torpedoes off steuerbord! Those look good. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. Oh, well. We did good damage, 13,000 damage so far. Not bad, not bad. Um, I'm thinking that Svetlana is going to be next. Anyway, so, real quick, I have some exciting news. Um, well, I have some news about some exciting news. Ooh, he ate some torpedoes, and he's dead. Alright, let's get this Nuremberg, or Koningsberg. And we're going to turn around, so let's get our turrets spinning that way. Alright. In a couple days, we got a over penetration 840 damage. Cool. In a couple days, I'm going to be releasing a video about a certain ship that I have in World of Warships, and I have some very exciting news involving that ship. I don't want to give it away yet. I'm still waiting on a couple official things to happen so that I don't put my foot in my mouth. Uh, basically, I have to check my mail for something in the next couple days. If that thing gets here, I will tell you guys some super exciting news of something that I get to do, um, and I will try to include you guys in it and maybe get you some sort of involvement uh, in somehow. I'm not sure yet. It's it's a weird thing. I haven't done anything like this before. Wow, that Konigsberg just got vaporized by the Congo. Wow. Anyway, so exciting news coming later this week, hopefully, maybe beginning of next week, depending on if I get this thing in the mail I'm supposed to get. Um, hopefully I do. I want to include you guys in it because it's something very, very exciting, very, very cool, once-in-a-lifetime amazing thing that gets to happen that I get to be a part of. So look forward to that. I have more World of Warships videos coming.
got more Rainbow Six heroes and generals, stuff like that. Oh, all those missed. Come on. I need to hit get hits on this Congo. Uh, 840. And over penetration? Really? Wow. Anyway, so yeah, look forward to that. Look forward to all those things that I just mentioned. Alright. We've got mostly battleships left over here. Shots out on the Congo again. Alright, 2300, not bad. Ah, a little short, a little short. That's my bad. Enemy aircraft are vectoring this direction. Looks like they're focusing on that friendly Congo. That Congo's turning off. Do we have better shots? We're about to get better shots on this guy, so let's focus on this guy. We're going to have all four, uh, four of our turrets. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and that's it. Let's turn in a little bit. There we go, 7,600. We got another Congo. Man, these Congos are duking. Did they ram each other? They did ram each other. Interesting. Alright. More shots on this Congo, maybe. We got a Koning. I'll shoot at the Koning. I just lost 3,300 health. I'm going to pull off here, because I'm getting a little too close. We're not going to pop our repair quite yet. Oh, there's the fifth turret. I'm going to pop it out real quick. Missed the coning. There we go. 27,000 with a single shell. Not bad. Let's start rotating our turrets the other way. Again, slow turning turrets. Pain in the butt. We're just going to give them a bad angle to shoot at. Let our Kirov and our Congo and our Koningsberg put some rounds in while we rotate the turrets. Alright. Isokaze gonna go in and get some sneaky torps. How are we doing on that end? Oh, our team is destroying. We've lost two ships. They've lost seven. Wow. Yeah, I think this is going to be a solid win. Hopefully we can maybe sink something. We've only really done damage so far, which isn't a bad thing. Um, wish I could have gotten some kills in this game, but it's not over yet. We're going to focus that Congo down here in a second. Turrets turn it. Almost there. Looks like the front turrets are going to be on target first. Yeah, we'll go for the Congo. He's lower health. He's not getting focused. Alright, one turret lined up. I'm targeting the owning. I don't want to do that. I want to target the Congo. So that shell probably will be off. Yep. Oh yeah, that coning is done. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Got hits on the Congo, but he's right at the limit of our range. Let's see if we can get hits. On that Koning. Oh, he's gone. Alright, Congo. There go all four guns. He's turning back in, it looks like. Oh, my shooting is not good. We're hitting the top of the turret, so we're overpenning. Let's just get a little closer, then. We're out. Uh, one of those looks good. Dispersion's not that great. Forgot to look at the dispersion in the menu. We can turn a little bit and get that fifth gun turret on target. Hey, 4,000. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, right at the waterline. Not quite a hit. We got two seconds, and the front gun's up. Shot out. Ah, overshot. My aim is bad today. Ooh, those look good. 
Ah, 4,000. Uh, ricochet. Damn. He's gonna... Ooh. Are they gonna ram? Clutch. Ah, two, ram, two rams in one game. Two, two Congo versus Congo rams in one game. I'm gonna buy a lottery ticket. That is, that's not something you get to see very often. Alright, they got two cruisers and a carrier left. We're gonna pin, pincer them in here. In this channel. Oh, nope, we win. On points. Alright, well, that could have gone better. We did damage and we won, but we didn't sink anything. That's a little depressing. 28 target hits, 42,000 damage. 45,000 credits, 138 XP. 70 free XP. Or bonus XP, really. Yep, we weren't top of the team. Uh, didn't sink anything. Our Congos did work. Um, our Texas did work. Texas shot down a crap ton of airplanes. Holy cow. Texas shot down as many airplanes as our Langley did. That's impressive. Um, let's see. What damage did we do? Who would we hurt more? 22,000 damage to the Congo. 13,000 to the Phoenix. 3,000 to the Koning. 2,000 to another Koning. Okay. Actually, I think one of those Congos I was looking at was a Koning. And I... You'll see me do that. I'll say Congo, Congo, Congo when it's really a Conan, because I'll see K-O-N and a G, so I just assume it's a Congo, without actually reading, which I should do more of. And credits and XP, I don't have my premium account time anymore, so don't get quite as much, but still, better than nothing. So yeah, that was game one of the Kaiser. I'll show you guys a replay oh, that I was playing with History Guy 101. He was in his uh, Kuma, so I went tagged along with him in a Kaiser. Uh, killed two destroyers and something else. I can't remember what, but you guys will get to see that right after this. So enjoy the rest of the video. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Fun stuff on the way. Again, a uh, surprise, kind of exciting news coming in uh, the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. I am here. I am here. Alright, where are we going? I will follow you. Not down that channel, but I'll follow you. Oh yeah, I'm not going to go down the channel. I'm just checking for enemies. For pesky destroyers. You're not going to see them. They'll be there, but you won't be able to see them. What we need is this destroyer, the Clemson, to go spot them. On a blind fire, I think. The no. torpedoes. Oh, with torpedoes, yes. There's a very large uh, battleship over there. Out of range. I'm detected. Alrighty. How am Which I not? How am I so not detected? You? Nope. Dang. Now I am. That's jacked up. Probably means they were just around the corner of the island. Let's see if these guys get spotted. So I can shoot at them. Aha! Heyo, I got hit. See a destroyer? Yep, Genevni. I'm gonna do something risky. Dude, Christmas is coming here soon. Torpedoes of Steuerbord! I just killed the yeah. Genevni. I'm gonna take one torpedo. Nope, I'm not gonna take any no torpedoes from the Minikaze. I'm gonna kill the Minikaze. Alright, 
there's two destroyers killed hooray I'm about to get torpedoed and torpedoes out of house. a little town all right well I have no support now you're about to come face to face with an enemy destroyer or an enemy cruiser Yeah. I came around the corner and he came around the corner and we both jabbed each other with torpedoes. Torpedoes of Steuerbord! Damn it. That sucked. I hate that. Those zero duels. When you're so close. Alright, well. This will be interesting. I'm curious yeah. as to where that destroyer or that cruiser that killed you went. I'm detected by air. I'm going to leave and do a separate battle and I'm going to go to bed. Alrighty. By the way, I found out there's this commander skill that lets you change your torpedo stuff. Mm hmm. So you can add torpedo speed for range. Yes. Which is kind of interesting, because if I were to do that, I would get kind of an in-between my two torpedo types that I currently have. The bullets, they're kind of too slow for my type. But they have longer range, and you got the Mark 15s, which are quicker and have slower, I mean lower range. So I don't know. I'm but I have a uh, a Saint Louis 50 second reload for torpedoes now, so that's kind of nice. St. Louis. I pity anyone who has to drive that. Why so? Oh. Although it low tier, you can kind of destroy it. Kuma, you picked the wrong day. Yep, just keep sailing right behind me. Just keep doing that. I'm sure that'll end well for you. Come. Oh, what? No. What? Stop. My nerves. Fire alarm. Gegnerischer Kreuzer gesunken. Personally, I think it'd be pretty fun to take a little ride in one of these destroyers. Yeah, they're definitely little speedboats. Come on. <laughs> pretty fun. Oh, cars roar as soon as my armor piercing is reloaded. You're dead.
Oh, how did you not die, you lucky... Mm. That is one lucky German cruiser. All right, well, I've sunk three ships. That's good, I guess. Uh, there's another Kaiser wanting to duke it out with me. This is going to suck. I've got another battleship coming up behind me. This is just not bueno. I need help. I got a destroyer with me. That's helpful. Oh, that's not what I needed right there. That's not what I needed. Kill it. Kill it with fire. <laughs> At moment, should I open fire? Should I not? Oh, nah, I should. Fire alarm! damage. I mean, you know, as good as, as good as I could have hoped for. And the enemy carrier has to be dead here. One, two, three, four, yep, there he goes. Finally. Alright, what do we got? 153,000 credits. 38,000 damage. Damages. How useful are artillery? Incredibly. Hmm. Yay, I was top of the team. Woo! I can't figure out how to build a factory. Here we go. I found it. Found it. Alright. What the heck? I can't build a factory. I want all the things. I want all the things.